we actually have talked about, gosh, should we go to the east side? And it, it, you know, it's something we're looking at, but we don't want to leave our roots downtown. Stacy Bennett is a Seattleite through and through. And while her and her husband have contemplated moving their business, Buki, it's not time yet. It is safe to say, though, a lot of people believe it is time for a change. One of our gals left the store and called me and said, hey, just as I was leaving, I wanted you to know we had someone starting to camp out on our front porch here. So I had security come in and um, have her move along. And then also there was some sort of a drug bust in the parking lot right next to our store. Bennett says the challenge isn't just taking care of your business. It's making sure the employees are OK, too. You can't have employees, though, if you don't have customers. For Bennett, the foot traffic just isn't the same as it was three years ago when they set up shop. I think it definitely impacts all of our businesses downtown because, I mean, we hear it from our friends. People just don't want to come downtown anymore. Bennett tells me there are several factors deterring people from coming into downtown Seattle. Parking and driving, well, that's just part of the problem. The homeless issue, coupled with the opioid crisis and the threat of repeat offenders, those are problems others, including John Scholes with the Downtown Seattle Association, echo as ones impacting our business and our people. It's putting our communities and the safety of folks who live and work and visit here at risk. In a statement by Tom Norwalk with Visit Seattle, he says repeat offender cases like Calderon's can impact people visiting the state, saying, quote, we have had increased comments from visitors about Seattle's challenges with our street scene, which encompasses a host of behaviors. While the tourism numbers have not decreased, Norwalk believes they could, saying these types of incidents have the potential to damage our city's reputation, appear nationally in social media, and can be alarming to potential visitors. I think there's great risk to our, our brand. So we We've identified some of the issues. How do we fix it? I don't know what the answer is. While we and the city try to come up with an answer, Bennett will be here, running a business downtown, still proud to be a Seattleite. I'm a fighter, so I will uh, do everything I, in my power to make sure that we can try to try to make it through.